Here we're going to unbox the low-cost Nexteon 4.3-inch touch display. This allows you to add touch capabilities to something like an Arduino project. It comes in a very plain paper box. Here you can see the 4-pin connector for power ground serial, receive and transmit. It comes pretty well packed with bubble wrap and two layers of uh, foam padding. And there it is. It comes with a thick plastic uh, covering. You can see here it's uh, pretty thick. And then on the back of the board, if you take a look at the components, we have an Altera, some sort of like a FPGA type deal. In the corner we have the touch controller. And then SD card slot and the video RAM. On the left hand side we have our four pin connector header and that's about it. So all in all very simple low cost device. This was uh, 50 bucks shipped from Amazon Prime. And so today I'm gonna power it with a phone charger. I've got a 5 volt uh, 800 milliamp and I took a standard USB cable and modified it, cut off the end and I soldered on some pin headers so we can just get the power out of this. So let's go ahead and connect power and ground. Connect it to the display. And go ahead and plug it in. Now my intention with this device is actually to connect it to an 80, ESP8266 and add a nice little screen to that ever so powerful Wi-Fi device. See it does immediately power on. And let's take a closer look. This application comes preloaded. There's a it's a resistive touch, there's buttons on the bottom so you can use your finger. And this showcases the various buttons. So you could change the text, you can change the picture and you can change the button color. I'm just using a normal pen here. I could use my finger as well. The resistive touch is uh, a little bit difficult, but that's to be expected. So on page two, we've got progress bars that we can increment and decrement. A few different styles. So this is just sort of replacing the images the bottom stuff does nothing and you can tick through the pages in the upper corner here as well those buttons are pretty hard to press so I'm back here let's get to the next page so this is some image manipulation pretty cool cropping I guess it cuts off the bottom And then we got some gauges. The buttons here are a little tricky to press. I don't know if that's just a button sizing issue. They're a little bit tricky. Definitely much harder with the fingers than the pen. But all in all pretty cool. And finally the last page has a sort of game thing sort of find the differences. Got the couple of things here. I always have trouble with this boots down in the corner here. I don't know what the deal is, but I tick it a bunch of times and kind of has a mind of its own when it wants to go through. And there, there it goes. It doesn't make any sense, but okay. So there you have it. This is a bit of a showcase of all the different functionality of this nice low cost screen. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, make a video of some more cool stuff. Now one shortcoming I did identify was the viewing angle has a bit to be desired. It kind of reminds me of a Lenovo laptop I had where it just looks a little bit better when it's tilted away from you 
looking at it straight on, it's just a little bit washed out. So, you know, you can't really tell here, but it's really apparent on this game where specifically like the color on the lady's hat, you can see the hat much better when you tilt the screen away, but straight on, you can't even really tell the difference in the colors. So it's not terrible. It's to be expected again with the low cost screen. Just got to hope the next version is a little bit better and maybe capacitive touch.